Hey there, English speakers. Jesse here. And today, I have a special guest. And we are going to have a conversation. And you will have a chance to listen to our conversation. And after that, we will look at the language that we used in the conversation so you can become a better English speaker. So let's bring in our guest, my brother James. Hey there, English speakers. James here. Careful there, James. That's my intro. Oh. You find your own. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So how are you? I'm doing great. Do you listen to music? Yes, I do. What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to all kinds of music. It really depends on my mood. Yeah, me too. I think that's normal. Do you have a favorite kind of music? No, I don't have a favorite kind of music. Maybe I prefer rock and roll or blues or even jazz. They're all really great. Yeah, those are all really good. Have you ever heard electronic music? Yes, I have, but I'm not really a big fan. I prefer instruments with, I prefer music with real instruments. Yeah, but there are some situations where it's fun. Right. But thanks for joining us today, James. I hope you can help us out in the future. I hope I can help you in the future too. Thanks a lot. Bye guys. All right, see you later. So that was our conversation. Let's go to the classroom section and find out about the language. I hope you enjoyed our conversation. If you go to languagegalaxy.net, you'll be able to download a worksheet that has listening exercises that go with the conversation. Also, it'll have other exercises, activities, and explanations for the grammar that we're going to study. We're going to look at four different auxiliary verbs and their forms and uses. What's an auxiliary verb? Good question. An auxiliary verb is also called a helping verb because it helps give understanding to the tense and the person of a sentence. We're going to look at be first. Be is used to form the continuous tenses, which is the ing form of the main verb. I'm doing great. James says, I am doing great. We have the subject, I, and the I form of the auxiliary verb, which is am. Or if you wanted to change it to you, it would be you are doing great. Or he, speaking of James, he is doing great. So we see the auxiliary verb helps in the understanding of the tense and the person of the sentence. What about the question form? We have a question next. Do you listen to music? Yes, I do. Do is used in simple tenses. And to make a question, you simply invert the subject and the auxiliary verb. So the auxiliary verb comes first. Do you listen to music? That makes a question. And if you want to use our question words, you will plug those in here before the auxiliary verb. But if you're answering this question, you can shorten your answer by saying, yes, I do, or the negative, no, I don't. Which brings us to our next example. Yes, I have, but I'm not really a big fan. James says, yes, I have but I don't like it. Do you remember what the question was? Have you ever heard electronic music? I asked, have you heard electronic music? And James answers, yes, I have. Have is used to form our perfect tenses. So we'll have have plus our past participle of the, verse, of the verbs. And finally, can is used to express possibility or ability. We use the form of can plus the base verb for the main verb. I hope you can help us out in the future. 
Now note, if you want to change the tense or the person of your sentence, you'll change the auxiliary verb. You don't change the main verb. The main verb always stays the same. So if you're using be, I am doing great. I was doing great. You are doing great. The, ver the main verb stays doing. Okay, great. So I hope this helps you. And if you have any questions, be sure to follow me on Facebook or Twitter to ask any questions that you may have. Also, don't forget to download the worksheet. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to give it a thumbs up. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Why do you listen to music? Because I like it. A little cheap plug, Language Galaxy. So if you have any questions, be sure you ask me.